<laughs> uh, hello, creatives. Um, once again, here we are with um, an analysis on a psychoanalytical drawing on the model, the artist. Um, what we're trying to do here is try to find out what's going on with this energy here. I started this gestural drawing uh, right around here. Uh, this area here, um, a lot of issues where um, happens in relationships that you try to figure out what's going on with the person you're with the person that you're analyzing. Uh, obviously here you can see the person is very disconnected from the artist, the self. Uh, the person, the female here, um, you know, when you do these drawings, these are based on Carl Gustav Jung, creative imagination. And we wanna, we wanna trigger the subconscious mind and these drawings are really interesting because the more the more you navigate around these energies here, these gestural drawings, these gestural energies, you're able to get into what's going on with the model here. Uh, the connection here, uh, and then I write stuff when I when I start doing this. The connection here is very interlaced, and. Um, so anyway, what's going on with this person here is that the person is highly disconnected. The person is being very aloof. The person is being very secretive. And the artist here is feeling that the energies are completely displaced where... Um, the model here literally has no interest on the artist, but the artist has an interest on the model. And these are the areas that the artist uh, are focusing in here. Obviously, they're around, you know, the sexual energies, the form and content of the model, and... Um, so the levels that we can, I call this drawing levels, the levels, the levels that we can trigger by doing these drawings is the more we do them, the better we get at. The more we analyze a person, the more we can go intrinsically into our own feelings and try to see if we can align ourselves with the feelings of the person. Um, one way to do that is by... By connecting and disconnecting, by connecting and disconnecting, by connecting and disconnecting. What are the things you learn by doing these drawings that are uh, where you trigger the imagination, you trigger uh, concentration, and you trigger also what the uh, what the unconscious is saying to you about the connection? Is that the more the more you draw, the more you analyze, not so much the contour, the line, the more you analyze the energy the more you start getting intuitive feelings and sensibility of what this person is it's about or that person is going through. Um, obviously, this is really interesting how the legs and the feet actually goes inside the artist and the artist is watching the person through the back. So it's definitely uh, a, a connection of sexuality, sensuality, and there's a, she's literally inside the artist. Um, a lot of artists like Picasso and, you know, Francis Bacon, what they do is they process their own relationships within the creative aspect of their, uh, of their creativity. And that's what they utilize to do. That's what they use to make art. Um, Okay, thank you for watching.